Alright guys, so this was a fun fanfiction idea I thought I would love to share with you all. And this isn't so much like a Spider-Man Ladybug crossover. It's more like a Ladybug crossover with one of Spider-Man's villains. Who, honestly, you could easily make into a Spider-Man villain. Like, you could easily transition this character into being a Spider-Man villain. Like, straight up, you could make this character, a, I mean like a Ladybug villain. And that, of course, is Craven. So here we go, um, Ladybug the Dark Hunt. So this story is basically, um, uh, what has happened is, is this is a regular day, you know, Marinette and the team have bested another villain in, that has been created by Shadow Moth, and she's like, yeah, we can, you know, you know, it's getting easy. Like, she, like, Marinette gets cocky about it, like, oh man, these villains are just getting easier and easier to beat, like, Shadow Moth's not even trying, like... I, like, what's he even doing? Like, <laughs> this, like I'm getting so good at it. I'm being like the best ladybug, and 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 like Tiki when she go like when she goes home is like Marinette. It's really cool to see you have some self confidence for once. But um, how about you have some humility too? Because like it's cool that like I, like I'm I'm fine. I'm happy you're finally like not freaking out about shit. It's driving me nuts. But <laughs> can, can, can you need to realize that you need to expect the unexpected. You need to pull, like, a, you know, Mysteries of the Cloud cards right now. Expect the unexpected now. I feel like you need that. And Ladybug's like, oh, please, Tiki, who could stop... Like, there's no villain that Shadow Moth has, has created that could stop me. Like, really, I could, you know, I could take on any villain. Well, she gets to eat her words because a certain Sergei Kravenoff has landed in Paris because he's now curious about hunting... Um, he is now curious about hunting Marinette. He is uh, about Ladybug. He's hunted Spider-Man before, he's hunted others, but now he's learned about this Ladybug character in Paris, and now he's like, hmm, let us see if, if you are worthy prey, Ladybug. And it's not like um, Gabriel Agrest hired him or anything, it's not like that at all. It's really just, Sergei just showed up. It's not even like like Shadow Moth, like, hey, I'm gonna hire Craven the Hunter to kill Ladybug for me. Nope, not even that. But when he he basically arrives in Paris and he's just like, hmm, so this is where I shall hunt. I haven't been in Paris in decades. In a I haven't been in Paris in ages. I need to reacquaint myself with the surroundings. So Craven just dons his costume, goes out and like stalks the night, like he's just kind of like like getting a feel, and he's like more or less like not so much like like he's getting a better surrounding because he's been gone for a while. Has there have been comics where Craven has been in Paris, like said to have been in Paris, either studying um, or living there for a short time, but really he's ju he's just getting acquainted during that night. He, uh, like, he comes across Cat Noir, who's on, like, a midnight, like, stroll. Like, just kind of like, Adrian's just, like, you know, having his, oh, Ladybug, why didn't she like me? And I'm just gonna go out and get some air thing. It's one of those. So he sees him, and he tails, um, Cat Noir for a bit, and he's like, hmm, the cat. Hmm, following the bug. This is too familiar for me. So... Craven like stalks him and he's like testing Cat Noir and he's like this guy doesn't even know I'm following him like this is pathetic like he, I have been shadowing him for about half hour now he doesn't know I'm here if this was a worthy prey I would have uh, I would have already taken him already my guy I got an idea so what he does is basically um what he basically does is load up a tranquilizer gun and when Cat Noir is just like headed back home he gets him and he stuns him he stun he basically yeah he just straight up stun like knocks him out and takes Cat Noir and kidnaps Cat Noir um and of course you know Gabriel like um when Natalie goes to you know wake up Adrian for his uh you know days of his father ignoring him what happens is that she finds obviously an empty bed and a window open. So it's instantly like, oh my god, Adrian Agrest has been kidnapped. He's been stolen. He and Gabriel's like fucking get the entire goddamn army 
to find my fucking son now. So, and it's an APB for Adrian Agrest. And, of course, Lady, um, Marinette's freaking out because, oh my god, Adrian's gone! Adrian's missing! We can't find him! And she, like, she goes full ladybug and she's trying to call Cat Noir can't get to him and she's like she must be out he must be out looking for him meanwhile the inside ladybug's like fucking christ marinette um um uh, but yeah she's like cat noir has to be out looking for him and maybe he's uh, he's tracked the lead maybe that's why he's not picking up but right now i gotta get the others and that's when like an arrow goes flying uh, like when she's out like looking for a uh, for um um adrian for uh, um, as Ladybug, an arrow goes flying past her, purposely missing her, and hits the wall beside her, and she's like, what the hell? Because she thinks it's like some new ploy by Shadow Moth, but what it really is, unfortunately for her, what it really is, is a, is a message saying, I have the cat, you're, you know, he's my bait, you're going, we're going to have this hunt. If you win, I will give him back. If you lose, I'll skin you both. And it's and he writes Craven, and she's like Craven, who who Craven? Okay, so she goes to Alia like um, because of course this would be the time when she knows she's Ladybug. So she's like, Hey Alia, um, listen, I need your help because I think I uh, um, Cat Noir's been kidnapped, and I think maybe um, this whoever this Craven guy is. He had the, whoever I think it's a new villain by Shadow Moth, but this guy, this Craven villain has probably Cat Noir and Adrian um, lo captured. I don't know why he has Adrian, but I don't. Uh, but he must be using Cat Noir to get to me. And Ali is like, oh, "Wait, did you say Craven? That's the name on the me Craven. Craven the Hunter." And that's when Marinette's like, "Oh shit," because like. It's an A... Like, they know Craven the Hunter. He's an A-list Spider-Man villain. Um, he's a major Spider-Man villain and, like, a major Marvel villain. So Alia literally, literally pulls up all the stuff with, like, Craven the Hunter, and she's like, you can't beat him. You... He will kill you. He... You know how many times, like, he's nearly killed Spider-Man or Captain America or, you know, Wolverine or Black Cat? He has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with people you cannot fathom with. And he has nearly killed all of them. Marinette, he will kill you. If he, um, if this is really Craven the Hunter, he is going to kill you. Because, um, yeah, I do, like, I'm of the mindset um, that Craven, I'm like Chip Zdarsky. I think Craven the Hunter is a credible threat as a villain. I've all, I've never thought of him as, like, some dumb hokey villain. He's a, he's a major credible threat as a, as a supervillain. Of course you'd have to, like, take him as a threat. So, Marinette is already freaking out because she's like, oh my god, is this really, if this is really Craven the Hunter, he told me to go look for, face him alone. And while she's been out gallivanting around, Craven has been following her this whole time and followed her back to the house, seeing her de transform and also seeing Alia there, who is also Raina Rouge, and finding out, oh, that's Raina Rouge. Interesting. So he starts meticulous, like, Craven just starts meticulously, um, just piecing together um, all of the names and faces of these of these uh, alter egos. Like he figures out, like he already knew Chloe was Queen B. Like there was already that. Um, there's like, um, and I know someone's gonna go. Well, wait a minute. How does Chloe still Queen B if this is the time where Alia still Lady uh, like knows Marinette is Ladybug? Shut up. It's my continuity. Shut up. <laughs> That's why. There's your, there's your answer. Shut up. It's my continuity. Um. <laughs> anyway. So I. So yeah. So Craven is the one who has Adrian. He does. Like he's already figured out that Adrian. A, Black, uh, that Cat Noir is Adrian. Like he already pieced it together. He's like, you were running in the tra trajectory of the Agrest house, and I don't think you were just going there to say hi to Gabriel Agrest. I don't think you were doing that at all. Isn't that right, Adrian? You see, I, and Craven reveals, I, I've always known about the power of the miraculous. Like, I've always kind of studied and known about the knowledge of it. You see, the Cravenoff family has kind of knowledge of mystical items and, you know, totems and whatnot. So we know 
about the miraculous. We don't. We've never known their like full power, but like we've always had like a understanding of 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 the of the miraculous that they are objects of great power. I don't know how you got them, but it's obvious you're not worthy of them. So. Um, and he's like, so let me guess, you're gonna take the take the cat miraculous and and use it to kill Ladybug. He's like, I don't need your barbels to uh, to kill to hunt my prey. You can keep that, you're, and you're gonna need it because you're next on my list. Meanwhile, um, Gabriel Agrest is like tearing high, is like just having the entire town, the entire city of Paris, being pulled us apart to find his to find his missing son. And eventually, like, um, he does discover that Craven the Hunter is in the city, and he's like, that's, son that's the son of a bitch who took my son. So as Shadow Moth, he's like, you he approaches Craven, and he's like, Craven, you have something of mine, give it over. And you have Cat Noir, so give me, give me Cat Noir and release the boy. Gabriel Agrest is an ally of mine. He's like, is that so, Gabriel? I'm not an idiot. And and to be coy, like Craven goes, the boy has some use to hunt Ladybug. She seems to have a care about him. He's not like saying out loud that yeah, your son is Cat Noir. He's basically going like, your son is being held somewhere else. Cat Noir is part of my game too, but it's very clear that um, your son has like Ladybug has a connection to your son as much as she does her partner. So it's all part of my plan. And he's like, I can, and Shadow Moth's like, as long as my son isn't hurt, I give you permission to use him, but if he is harmed, I will kill you. And Craven's like, I've already been dead once. You do, uh, I do not fear death, much less th than I fear you. And Craven, and then he's like, Shadow Moth's like, I will make you a slave to me with all of that anger. And he sends an Akuma at him, and Craven just crushes it. Like, he just, like, crushes it in his hand, he just, like, drops it, and he's like, I, uh, <laughs> You forgot who I am. I am the hunter. So, eventually, Cra Ladybug does face off with Craven in a uh, like she like she more or less is forced to fight him at the zoo, similar to how like Spider-Man in their early adventures um, with Cra in his early bouts with Craven, he would have to fight. Um, basically, he would have to fight. Uh, Craven at like a zoo or somewhere with a bunch of animals that he would have like enslaved like just a bunch of animals that he would have enslaved to him and the two do battle and Ladybug gets her ass kicked because it, Craven's like you know the problem with all the super villains you fought they were nothing but meat puppets to Shadow Moth I am something else like I am a professional hunter I am I am Craven I fought I have fought people of I have fought people who will be long remembered after you're gone you're just a and it and you're just another trophy to me you and he's like punching her he's like you know you're just a trophy to me and ladybug is just getting is like trying her best to fight him um, but craven is just something else entirely he is just a totally different animal um and by this point, when she gets her ass kicked, this is when Alia comes flying in with Queen, with Chloe and Alia come flying in together and just do, do like just a double flying kick to Craven's back. And she's like, and they're like, there's one thing you forgot about hunting animals. Sometimes they travel in herds. And then it's revealed all the other miraculous heroes are with, are, have surrounded Craven. And Craven's like, mm. another time. Take the, take the cat and go. This hunt, we will hunt again. You know, there will be another hunt, Ladybug. And next time, you will, your earrings will be on my wall. So by the end of it, Ladybug's gotten her ass kicked, and she's now living with the fear that now Cra there's someone out there who's willing to like come out and hunt and pull like a Craven's last hunt on her ass. So now that's like hanging over, even though she won. There's still that like fear and trauma that now there's someone out there who is terrifying and out there ready to kill her at a moment's notice so there you go there is uh, ladybug the dark hunt uh, yeah I wanted to do, like I, I Craven just feels like a ladybug villain doesn't he like he just feels like someone you could see as a ladybug villain so you guys tell me in the comments below what did you guys think of ladybug the dark hunt did you guys like it hate it 
Uh, comment below, let me know, and as always, if you haven't already, hit the link below, head on to my Patreon. I'm Mr. Multiverse, see you next time in the Multiverse.